Today's CARE 11 News, Saturday. Well, February is National Heart Month, and heart disease is the leading cause of death for women in the United States. And local fitness expert and Prevention Magazine contributing editor and good friend of the Saturday Morning Show, Chris Freitag, is back. Hi, Chris. Hi, how are you? Good. Good. You know, we talk about that leading, and we just throw that out there. But it is something to think about. Uh, people don't realize that. A heart disease is the number one killer of women in America, and it's something to be aware of. And this is my opportunity during February every year to get on my soapbox and say, if you are not doing cardiovascular exercise or any exercise, exercise at all get going this is your chance yeah and you know prevention magazine we are always talking about different ways to make it a little bit maybe easier on us or fit in our time schedule better and so that's what we want to talk about today yeah it's called give your heart a workout it's in this some months prevention it's, magazine it's right? in February's um, issue which is if it's not on the newsstands it's at prevention.com so you can check it out okay um, we have great articles every month but this article in particular we're talking about strengthening our hearts so high intensity interval training is what we're well, actually we're talking about interval training and the idea behind intervals versus steady state cardio is that you know you intermix high intensity with a little moderate or lower intensity so you can work out shorter but work out harder so yeah. for those with time constraints you don't have to put in that 60 minute long walk but you can get it done in a shorter period of time yep so you go up and down with your heart rate and, and uh, that's been really becoming so much more popular than than as you mentioned being on the treadmill for you know an hour well it's appealing because people are short on time so they go wait what you know wow I can work shorter now here's the deal when you increase your intensity your heart works a little harder you're gonna pump more blood per beat and you're gonna get more heart pumping and more heart strengthening benefits also your body becomes more efficient using carbohydrates when you are working at that higher intensity so it reduces sugar in your bloodstream which can help with diabetes always consult your doctor but there are so many great benefits to doing that high intensity and then bringing it down up and down you create the interval so whether it's a two to one ratio or a one to one or a three to one that's based on your fitness level and what you want to do sure and, and you can do it with anything you you know you and I talk about that whether you know if you're gonna go outside and walk do your high intensity intervals and then slow, slow it down. down a little bit maybe you do it for 30 seconds to a minute and then give yourself about a two minute break but here's the deal you can do it on your treadmill you can do it on your bike but you can do it with nothing so, so let's say you're at home you could start with a jump rope do you have a jump rope you could do it in your garage or your basement start slow and then you pick up those in, you know the intensity for 30 seconds and then bring it down and today with the advent of the iPhone or any Android you've got a timer right there a stopwatch so you can time yep, yourself um, maybe you're gonna do jumping jacks you could start slow and then go faster make them bigger you can make them plyometric come off the ground there's so many different ways that you can do it without any equipment at all. Basically, you just got to get the arms above the head to get the heart rate arms going. Arms above the heart, that's exactly that's it. That's right. Okay, so what's the second tip? So interval training? Strength training. And again, none of this is rocket science. None of this is news, but it's something that you need to hear sometimes over and over to go, I'm going to do it. Yep. So strength training for women, a lot of women avoid it. They only take the time for cardio, but the reality is strength training, muscle not only helps with metabolism, muscle uses more calories at a resting heart rate but it also helps to lower blood pressure and studies have proven that it helps to take triglycerides and glucose out of the bloodstream sure and you I'm don't out of breath <laughs> <laughs> but you don't actually need the weights you can just use your body weight right okay so some things that you can do first of all legs you know women we're trying to strengthen our legs how about lunges you can alternate lunges you can hold your lunge you step forward with one foot going to a squat same thing buns and legs right here down and up so you're gonna sit in that imaginary chair pull back up down and up. Upper body push ups. You do not need, I know, I know nobody likes push ups, but, but you, you work say your it's way. Like the best thing to do you is You work your way up because you can start with your hips in the air. Once you master this, pull your hips down. Now it's a little harder. Once you master this, come on to those toes. Do your push ups. I'm telling you, it is not only good for your heart, but it's also good for your self esteem when you can say, I can do 10 push-ups. Yep. Well, I barely can, but I've been working yes, on can. it. No, I can't. You know, it is really humbling, but a good thing. Okay, so we have the interval training. We have the the, the weight or the strength with the weight. And then the third tip would be? Um, would be stretching. And I just want to point out something right now. My heart is beating a little faster, so I want to really make it accessible to everybody that it doesn't take a lot of time. It doesn't take no, it's that quick. much to get yeah. that heart pumping. Okay, the thing about stretching, first of all, that mind-body connection. If you go for something like a yoga class, we all know that the reduce, you know, reduction of stress Huge. in our lives, reduction of cortisol in the bloodstream, that stress hormone, um, just connecting the body to the mind. Dr. Oz has always said, more meditation, less medication. So that alone mm. is a very helpful thing. But stretching in general, there have been studies, and again, it's in the article, 
um, at prevention.com that stretching your muscles helps to increase the flexibility of your arteries. So oh. heart healthy, heart you know benefit. Again, you can try a yoga class, you could try, even if you take a few minutes every day to stretch on your own, stretch through the side, do a side bend. So you get all the way lateral through it. It's amazing. Some people don't even put their arms above their head every day. You know, get those arms above your heart, stretch it feels side great. to side and really feel it. How about a down dog? It's a classic um, yoga stretch. I know you know this one, mm -hmm. but it feels really good. You dig your heels down, press your palms, push your hips up. You feel this all the way up your back, all the way through your legs. And then another one we show in the magazine is the bridge. So this is a good one for your back. I'm just going to come all the way down. Okay. Got my microphone, but it's all good. And you lift up so you feel this all the way through your core, through your hamstrings, through your glutes. You can kind of inch your shoulders in and open up through your chest and heart. Oh, that looks good. So there are so many different stretches. So the bottom line is a little bit of life-saving exercise goes a long way. Absolutely. Chris, thank you, because you have to run off to a, a, an interval class at 9 o'clock, so we'll let Isn't you go. Isn't that the irony of it? I'm going to go do intervals right now. <laughs> For the latest health and fitness news, pick up a copy of the March issue, and again, the February issue is either on newsstands or online at prevention.com, and we will be right back.